What is going on everybody? Today we're hanging out at Imperial Coach in Dayton, Ohio, filming this awesome 2023 Prevo Superior Coach. But Mike, you've got a coach that's near and dear to my heart. I, know I see it is. an older Liberty coach back there. Yes, sir. I've got to go to the airport soon, but do you think we could take a quick peek yeah, at this coach? Come on, let's, let's take a look at it. You guys know I love Liberty coaches, but it's very rare that we can get a Liberty coach that's in that, you know, under $2 million, $3 million price range. I just asked you the price of this, and I'm like, we have to do a video. How much yeah. do you need for this coach? 239000 Why is it so inexpensive? Well, it's a 2001. It's a non-slide coach. However, it has been updated, had all the cruise air serviced on it, so they're all working properly. This coach has over-the-road bus air. This coach has eight brand new Michelin tires. I mean, it's about everything. 10 grand in tires. Oh yeah, yeah, it's been dialed in. We're, we still have to do smart TVs in it. But I mean, man, as far as bang for the buck, this is absolutely a coach that we need to look at. Non-slide Liberty coach. And yeah. a lot of the viewers out there just saw the video I did with uh, Rick Smith down at River Landing. He got an older Liberty coach and had our good friend Dean Laux redo the paint job. You know, Dean Laux is only able to repaint the Liberty coaches. Right. He's led the RV industry. Right. This is a perfect candidate for someone to take a coach to Dean, get it looking up to date. It really is, Andrew. One of the things that I'm known for is I'll tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly about any coach that I have for sale. The reason why is you're going to find out when you get here anyway. So we don't hide anything here. I like your style. It's a 23-year-old coach. It is what it is. What it is is beautiful but it does have some checking on the paint. Let's take a look. So non-slide Liberty, and you guys know I'm a big fan of non-slide coaches as well. So this coach is checking all the right boxes, but you did mention some paint checking right yeah. here. Yeah, if you get up real close, you'll see that that fiberglass splinter look, the paint checking, it, it is there. Oh, right there, but I mean, that's we're using an expensive camera here, guys, and it really, you gotta get up close to see that. It's a, it's a beautiful coach. Any body repairs that needed to be done, we've already taken care of that. It had an ugly diamond shield on the front of it. We wound up grinding the whole That's thing off. That's not cheap to get that done it's either. It's not. It's difficult. I don't care who you are and what tools you have. But we repainted the whole front end of the coach. So we've done some paint work on it, but to think about taking it to the Dean Laux level would just be an amazing I, feat. I just That's just my idea. But, uh, you know, in it for 240 you'd spend another 100 or so. So you'd be in it for 340 But if this had a new Dean Laux paint job on it, yeah. that's just pulling at my heart strings here. But let's open up these basement bays here. You're looking at a 2001 model coach with 165,000 miles on it, gently used. Well, this has a Series 60 in it. It does have a Series 60. Again, it has over the road bus air conditioning. 200 gallon diesel fuel tank, I believe. I this think I think 235 on 235 the, uh, on, the H, on the H yes, on the H model. What's going on in these bays here? Like every other Liberty coach built this time frame, you've got the slide out tray on either side. You've got the transfer box located here in bay one. You've got the cabinetry here, pull out drawers. It's going to allow you to carry some belts and hoses, which and, ironically, and belts and hoses. Is, this is similar to what they're using on the late model Liberty coach. They've really not changed a lot of what subject. they do. You know, they'll put some a, a little more attractive covering on the front of it. But as far as the design, it's the same because it just works. Yeah, Liberty Coach has been in business for over 50 years. And I know this coach doesn't fall under that, but the only company in the world that I've ever heard that warranty yeah. squeaks and rattles to the original owner. Right. Now, obviously you're not the original owner when you buy right. a 20 year old coach, but the fact that they did that for the original owner says a lot. But go look at the Charlie Daniels story. It's a beautiful story. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And again, Liberty Coach, and I don't want to offend any of my other compadres in the industry, but when I'm selling a Liberty Coach, I have no problem squaring my shoulders and saying they are the undisputed champion of our industry. Yeah, no, hands down. There's no, no doubt about it. Here in Bay 2, you've got all of your circuitry and wiring, uh, your Allen Bradley systems. Also, you have your uh, cruise airs. You have two cruise airs that are located behind this wall. Those were just freshly serviced. Is that a button plug down there? It is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Again, Liberty Coach, always thinking ahead. Yeah, so 20 kW generator. So if you want to share some power with a buddy. Correct. Thinking ahead. So. Correct. Freshly serviced 20 kW Kubota generator. And again, nice little ladder here in that same. This is what they're still doing in, right. in the newer coach. It's a little different, but. None of us want to get on the roof, but when we need to, we need to, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> you got your over-the-road bus here. I know we talked about this in a previous video, 
A lot of people think you're sacrificing this bay, but man, the benefits that you get from over the road bus air are second to none. So bay four on the Liberty Coach is gonna be your over the road bus air. And then bay five is all plumbing. It's, the, it's all business in here. So you got your fresh tank, You've got your black tank, you got your gray tank, your gray water bypass located in here. Now, Andrew, this is something interesting. So this coach is actually the Lady Classic. So you have the Lady Classic and the Elegant Lady. The Elegant Lady is gonna have your polished brass plumbing. This coach doesn't have that. Okay. So yeah. it's the Lady Classic system. You're gonna have your PVC plumbing. Still works just like, I'll never forget what day if my buddy down at Liberty says he'd never seen a plastic milk truck driving down the road. So you got your stainless tanks in here as well. Yeah, and they talk about, I mean, I mean, stainless tanks, I don't know anyone in the industry using those. Mm -hmm. And then you have a combined black and gray holding tank as well as your freshwater tank and a lot of benefits to that, uh, having that combined waste tank. You know, and as we go around, I love seeing, you know, the marine style. I mean, this is a 20, how old, 22, 23 That's year old bus? 22 year old right now. And I mean, just still in, in excellent condition. This is all, you know, marine grade stuff here for your 50 amp. Hook. It is, and, and again, Liberty Coach, separating themselves from the industry. You've got a shore cord that comes out on a Glendinning reel. You also have two points on either side of the coach that you can grab shore power. So you got three different points of entry. A lot of redundancy coach. built into this coach. Yes, there is. Detroit Diesel Series 60, one of the most famous engines in the world. Yeah. Anyone seeking a coach of this era, I mean, there's a debate out there between the 8V92 and the Series 60. Obviously, you've got better fuel mileage on this one, certainly more power, better performance, and they don't run as hot. So this is the engine. Anyone that's looking in the price point of a hundred to a three hundred thousand dollar coach, they're going to want this particular power plant. A lot of little stuff that they do thinking ahead to make yeah. your life easier. You've got the belt tensioner here. If you do need to change a belt, you've got a little auxiliary oil reservoir. Uh, if you have a little oil leak in, you can just you know top it off. These buses are made to be an industrial machine that's transporting people going down the road, transporting rock stars. One of these videos, we're going to get your story about. You've got a little uh, background in the music industry, yeah. but I got to catch a flight. So let's keep yeah. looking at this coach. That'll let's keep going. Video. All of your house batteries on the Lady Classic system are located here in the engine compartment of the coach. And then so H3 bay doors, you just hit one button, locked and unlocked all the bay yeah, doors. Absolutely. From inside the coach. And then of course, you know, the tallest bays in the industry, still, you know, when you look at the new Prevo converters, Liberty's converting only H's. This right. is the more expensive platform. So you've got it the is. X and the H. I think the H is like a hundred grand more for the chassis. Right. Is it about right? Yes. Yes, sir. So yeah, what's uh front base? You, you've floor. got a you've got a twin to the front bay on the other side. You've got two pull-out drawers here. Uh, most all of the Liberty coaches in this age range had a place for your snap-on toolbox to come out. So you got the slide-out trays. The Liberty coach manufactures their own, so they're not buying aftermarket products. They build these to fit perfectly in here to maximize your storage space. Now it looks like you guys still have a little work going on in this bay. You know, actually we just changed the generator battery. We put a new battery in the generator start and it's located behind that wall here in bay two. But you also have another, you talk about redundancy and I think when you have a good thing going, well, they say you got a good horse riding. Yes, sir. Yes, <laughs> so sir. there you go. Bay three here is your entertainment bay. You have a refrigerator and Andrew, it's yesteryear's equipment, right? But it fits. This refrigerator still works. Still cold? Yep, cool in there. Have a stereo here. You have a pull-out grill. The old Gen Air system. Gotta love it. Yeah. Has it been used, Andrew? It does not look like it. <laughs> I don't, I don't think that it's ever, ever been used. 22 years old, and I don't see one spot of grease in it. A lot of potential in this coach, but let's go take a look inside. Let's do it. You're pulling on my heartstrings here, buddy. Non-slide Liberty. Yeah. Still a lot of room in this coach being a non-slide. And this is- Sure there is. While you're going down the road or while you're living, Yeah. this is it. Now I see a couple little cosmetic things that we're gonna point out. Yeah, I think we should. So, you know, if you're looking at a coach of this age, you're gonna have some blemishes or some imperfections. This coach actually has the Vitricore laminate on it that Liberty Coach used in all of their coaches. And there are a couple of blemishes in here. So full transparency, uh, I was talking to Walter D'Andrea at the uh, Motorhome Expo in, in West Palm Beach a few weeks ago. Walter is wanting to start taking some of these older interiors that look dated or maybe the colors are just not that attractive at all. And uh, he's wanting to put some uh, new product in here. So I'm taking this coach down to Walter and we're going to actually be installing a 3M Dynock 
vinyl wrap on some of the kitchen cabinets here. We're going to kind of two-tone so we have some light cabinets with some dark wood grain cabinets and it'll make the blemishes go away. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing that. And that 3M Dynock product is something that I've been researching since my detail days uh, several years ago. And they started using this in the marine industry on the big yachts, I'd right. say about 10 years ago is mm -hmm. when it kind of started to gain a little traction. But basically, a lot of times the cabinets will be that kind of golden or kind of an uglier color. Right. And basically, they can put a material over the cabinets. It's like a 3M film. Uh, I think it's like eight mil, so it's very, very durable. Thick. Yes, uh, it's not going to scratch easy. But I got to tell you, cabinets in this coach are similar to the same colors we're seeing in the brand new Liberty they coaches. Are. So other than the couple of flaws I'm seeing, I really like how this coach sits. Currently, other than two big things, this couch, this fabric is 23 years old, and yep. it's very nice, but. I think some nice, clean, maybe a cream color leather or something Absolutely. would set it off nice. And then maybe some new floors. I mean, the, the tile floors in the galley are beautiful, but I have a dog, so carpet right. up front with the dog doesn't work. But in cold climates like it is in Ohio today, the carpet's really nice too. So. Right. Well, Andrew, we, we may be considered different. We do things a little different here. We're certainly willing to cover this sofa. It's a villa furniture sofa. There is none better. But what I've always found in the past is if I color it in black, you would have wanted cream. If I do cream, you wanted brown. And with the LVT product that's out there today, you have a lot of the same options. And so we're willing to do that inside this coach. We'll sell it as is, or we'll be happy to do the upgrades and we do them here, but we want you to choose the color. I don't want to choose a color because I don't know what you like. Roughly, do you know what it would cost to recover this sofa or to put new floors here? Yeah, so I have a quote on having the sofa recovered. It's about $4,500. That's not marked up. That's going to be a real leather product. And then for us to do the uh, the flooring in the front of the coach, all the way out the door, you'd be looking about three dollars to $5,000, depending on the product that you choose. If we go into the bedroom also, while it's a very small room, there's more cuts in the bedroom to get around that round Liberty bed than any other room. So you'd probably be looking at no more than 7,500 if you did the whole coach. I'm, I'm doing all the math in my <laughs> head. New cover here, a new paint job. This is, I mean, for not a lot of money, this, this coach is checking all of the right boxes. Uh, like as we're talking, this huge window, the H3 yeah. window. Now let's step back down into the cockpit area real quick. You wanna show us what's going on in the cockpit here? Of uh... Yeah, so one of the main differences that you have in the H3 is the fact that you continue to walk up into the coach. There's actually seven steps to get from the road up to the living quarters in an H345 as opposed to only four in an X chassis. So it gives you a little bit of a different feel up front here. I think it pretty much feels the same for the driver, but uh, you know, mama might be sitting a little bit more behind you, I guess I should have said, and maybe up a little bit. But uh, I love the feel of the Liberty Coach. I don't know what it is that they do different, but you can tell the different feel of a Liberty Coach when you're driving it. Everything is just so friendly here as, as well with what they do. Another thing that Liberty Coach does, they use the retarder as opposed to the Jake brake on a lot of their older equipment. Once you get to knowing the six position retarder, it's just an amazing product. And also all of the wood grain up here in the front of this coach is in just almost pristine condition. This steering wheel doesn't even look like it's hardly ever been used. Just a side note, uh, the driver that I had bring this coach in, it's a Texas coach, but the driver that brought it in for me has been in the entertainer coach driving industry for over 20 years. And he says it's one of the best driving H model coaches that he's ever driven. And that makes sense because I've had the opportunity and the honor to interview Frank Koenigsetter from Liberty Coach several times. Sure. And he's talked about in some of those videos about all of the thought and the engineering and how they you know, distribute the weight through this coach so that it has an equal ride. The thought and the engineering that the Koenigsetter family puts into this coach is really unlike anyone else. And I've got to just point out, I mean, the texture on this leather extremely high end, a little cubby here for your passenger, and then a real comfortable chair for your passenger sitting a little bit above little the, bit. the driver. And these seats are still in very good condition with the two-tone leather, really comfortable ride. But let's uh, let's keep cruising through let's this go. coach. Now this being on the H3 chassis, you just mentioned the extra steps up. Mm -hmm. And one of the big advantages to that is, is the floor of this coach is actually higher. So these are really meant to be touring coaches where people are in seated buses are driving. So 
when you're looking out the window, you have that little higher view, which makes all of the difference. You can kind of look down on stuff more, which I really like about the H3. True. But it gives you so much more base space down below too. So these are the coaches that they're using to put the golf carts or the motorcycles in down yeah. below. And I can't help but notice you don't have near as much headroom up here as you do in the X chassis that we just visited. But if you're going to get the room down there, you got to give it up somewhere. Yeah, absolutely. But still, I mean, especially with the mirrored ceiling here, mm -hmm. I do not feel claustrophobic in this coach at all. I think having that mirror really opens it up and, and just gives it more of an open feel. But even you know, even over here, I'm not I'm not ducking down or anything. No, not at all. Stand up straight comfortably. I'm seeing something behind us here. Yeah, let's Look. talk about that. This is the Avitricor laminate that we were talking about that was compromised. And Andrew, if you don't mind, I can point it out. It's not real bad, but again, this is why we're doing what we're doing as far as the die knock wrap that we're gonna use. So you've got some cracking right here on the corner of this, and then you've got some separation down here where the coffee pot's actually located. So I think more than anything, it's just an effort for us to make sure the product looks as good as it possibly can, because there's no fix for this. You're not gonna take this off and relaminate it and fix it. So we've gotta do what we can to make it right. And I appreciate you pointing that out because I, I've been in a lot of 20 plus year old buses, and I would say that probably more buses are gonna have some little stuff like that than Absolutely. not. So I Absolutely. appreciate your transparency. But one thing, as I'm just looking closer at this coach, I've got to point this out. The pattern on this recliner here, like this is super high-end leather. Like that, oh, yeah. that's a, original from Liberty Coach. That's a very expensive chair. I'm seeing- And it's still very comfortable too. <laughs> we can get to that 240 grand. Someone can get their money back quickly out of this coach. I'm seeing Absolutely. it in, in the parts and pieces. So being a non-slide coach, really a lot of room I love the little wine glass cabinet here, but a dinette on the door side here, plenty of room. And typically this is gonna be your patio side with your view. Right. I like the location of this, this dinette and this floor plan. Yeah, and this window opens if you wanna have some fresh air, dinner or after dinner. And then a little bit of storage here over top. Super clean when you look inside of these cabinets. I mean, the interior just tells a story. Now, I'm gonna be completely transparent with you guys. One of my complaints about these cabinets is they do block that beautiful Prevo window a little bit. So, I mean, if those cabinets weren't there, you'd have a little bit more uh, window space, but you do need your storage as well. So you gotta, you gotta give it up one way or the other. Yeah, so coming in the galley, I love the, the look of the cabinet faces, but what's all going on in here? Well, you got most of the amenities that you would have at home. They just close them up and they look really nice. So you got a microwave located inside here. You've got your coffee pot. And although it's original, Andrew, it still works. And we chose to leave that in here. Everything's CNC cut. So you've got a two burner Gaganau electric stove top right here. You've got your CNC cut on your kitchen sink as well. Very nice deep sink over here. Yeah, a nice solid surface countertop. And it does have that little lip right here. Right. So that if you do spill some liquids, they're not gonna spill on the face of these beautiful cabinets. And there's a lot of storage in this coach as we go through the little pull out drawers with the dovetail construction. Yeah, you've got plenty of storage overhead here. Another thing that Liberty does that I just think is beautiful, they have the paper towel holder here with a little cutout to drop down through. Keep stuff off of your countertop. It's great for travel. You got places here for coffee cups. It's just, it seems as though they think everything through way before they build. And I, you have to give honor where honors do with the design team at Liberty Coach. Frank's talked about in a lot of videos that they are users of the coach. And I've been, you know, I've been washing coaches for Frank for all, as long as I've been washing right. coaches. And, you know, he's out at Sturgis. He's at the events. They're touching and feeling everything. Right. So their families had a lot of time to think of a lot of little cool stuff that makes it better for the end user. More pantry storage here, a pin right there to keep it in place while it's going down the road. Yeah, so then that refrigerator with that same beautiful face, then the water and ice dispenser. Really in great condition for a 22-year-old It coach. is, yeah, and Andrew, when we got the coach full transparency, uh, the compressor was out, and so we had the compressor replaced, so we okay. should be good for another 20 years. Nice, nice. Hey, you want to show us what's going on in the uh, control panel here? Yeah, so this or, is what's, the... What's below? <laughs> that's a trash compactor. Don't you have one of those at oh, home? Oh, hey. Yeah, so this is all original uh, 2001 trash compactor, and they actually do still work. Yeah. Then we have the midship control panel right here is where you can pretty much operate most everything on the Liberty Coach. you got your breaker panels. You've got your inverter controls. Two of your cruise airs are located in here as well. 
You also have your lighting here so that you can turn lights on and off and talk to the coach through the operator panel. One thing I really like about this coach is if, say you've got guests or something out front there, you can just close this off. And yeah, you a, do. It's a manual door. So a lot of the newer doors are air doors or right. electric doors. I just like to open and close my door myself. Yeah, this is a manual door, works every time. And this is the classic where I think the elegant ladies probably had the push button doors yes. in them where just less stuff that can break. So I think there's a lot of value in this I being agree. a classic. But uh, let's show off the size of this middle bathroom area. I mean, we're kind of walking around in here. You've got, you've got plenty of mirrors for when you're getting ready. You can see every angle of yourself. But uh, we do have a good amount of storage here with adjustable shelving. When I open these cabinets, the lights light up immediately. And then again, full length mirrors with wardrobe. And this is all super clean and very similar style and design to what we see in the newer Liberty coaches with the split hanging in it. So yeah, we've all got our, our dirty laundry we got to get cleaned up. So I like having a nice uh, spot for that. So one thing that Liberty coach does in, on all their closet doors is they put this V panel steel uh, behind the door painted white to match, but this is so as to promise that it'll never warp. This is why the Liberty coach holds its in integrity as long as it does for little things like this right here. Yes, sir. That really shows as we go through this coach, they just don't wear like some of the other coaches out there. I mean, just, oh, looks like a brand new TV in this closet. Are you guys getting ready to put new TVs in we this are. coach? We are, we are. We're updating the TVs and I was trying to hide that from you before we did the video. Well, we're, we're gonna, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You weren't planning on filming this coach today. I saw right. this coach, I had to get the camera in here. So thanks for letting us uh, take a quick peek at it. So again, you know, more closet space. You've got the dual hanging space you know, split for the his and hers. So again, the V panel to help hold this structure together. I just learned that. Thanks for sharing that, Mike. I love this door, this particular floor plan that they have because this door right here actually provides a private water closet for the customer. But behind this door is where the, the Liberty coaches put their washer dryer stack unit. So, I mean, it's like out of the way all the time. So this is where you have your uh, apartment size stack washer dryer located inside here. And it's right behind the restroom. Does it have that V on the door, that, that V panel? Oh yeah, all of your doors are gonna have that in the Liberty coach. Okay. You'll never see one of these doors in a Liberty coach warp. When we look closely at all these faces, cause you, you pointed out a couple spots out there. I'm looking really closely at all the veneer and I think it's in really good shape for the most part, other than those few spots. I wouldn't change anything in this bathroom. If this was my personal coach. Right, I agree. I, I don't think anything needs to be changed. No, there's no compromised places back here. It's, and, and just being, again, transparent, it's really a shame that we have to go to the extent in the kitchen that we are willing to go because of three or four spots that are showing themselves. What's well, a Liberty coach? It deserves the best. It the deserves best. It's gotta the best. make it tight. That's so, right. We've got a really good size radius shower here, kind of in the middle of the coach and I'll jump inside. And I've got my shoes on because literally I'm gonna miss a flight here in a second, but your detail department is gonna get this all cleaned up behind us, but still plenty of headroom and I'll close this. 360 test. You got this nice little bench seat here. Beautiful tile work. I mean, just so high end the way Liberty Coach finishes this out. Just a very nice feeling shower here. And then also too, we were talking about the water closet, but I wanna just point out how big this water closet is. And it almost feels like it's kind of part of the master, you know, suite back here, but you can close that off if you want. Uh, but you do have a second sink back here. And yeah, you have the his and her sinks here. And the nice part about this is we're using the full eight and a half feet of width yeah. that the coach provides for you and I right now. So we're really not, standing on top of each other while you're trying to get ready and mama's trying to get ready. It's just a really nice, friendly floor plan. Going back into the bedroom here, north, south facing bed and a beautiful diamond stitching on the headboard. It, is. it really is. Such a cool look. Now, one of my complaints is I love having a ceiling fan in the bedroom, but I'm a little bit worried that it's gonna hit me in the head here, but not the end of the world. Well, you've got, you've got cruise air that's gonna flow out of either side of the bedroom here. It's just a very cozy floor plan. You've got one more control panel here to where you can actually uh, talk to the coach, turn the lights on and off. Last thing you do before you go to sleep, turn the lights off. Liberty has always 
thinking ahead. They've got a place, even though mama's sitting on the foot of the bed, there's a wonderful makeup table with a really yeah, nice illuminated how... light. So they use every bit of space that they can for drawers. You're going to see that you've got drawers and, and Andrew, even though they don't pull out far, there's still places and things that you can put in there. It's still somewhere that you can put those little items, whether it's socks or, you know, what, whatever it is. And then they have drawers all across the foot of the bed here. But right here is the uh, area that I was talking about. Oh, You've yeah. got this nice little mirror that pulls out so that mama can put her makeup on. It's got like a magnifying glass in here as well. So I mean, you can get in there and really do a good job. Like a medicine cabinet inside here. It's just a really nice little private area for mama to sit on the foot of the bed and put her face on. Talking about keeping your wife happy, uh, north south facing bed. So a lot of people know a lot of the tour buses have a north south facing right. bed. So if you wanna get trekking, putting some miles down and the wife wants to get some more rest in, this right. is a good option for that it as well. It really is, so. very attractive. Yeah, and then these windows, we have these blinds closed, but I wanna point out, these blinds are in excellent condition. You know, you go in different 20 year old coaches, it tells a story when you look at the blinds. And then if you wanna open these up, you've got that beautiful uh, view while you're going down the road as well. Right on. Mike, this is a great opportunity for someone. You said you need $240,000. If someone's a serious and qualified buyer and they wanna become the next owner of this Liberty sure. Coach, who can they get a hold of? Just give me a call, area code 614-753. 8267. You can also send me an email, which is mike at imperialluxurycoach.com. And keep an eye on Mike's website as well, because there's a lot of cool coaches coming and going yeah. as well. And then make sure to check out the 2023 Superior Coach if you haven't seen that. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. But Mike, I really appreciate you, you and the team at Imperial. Thank you. Uh, my pleasure. Also appreciate all of you out there on YouTube subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thank you. Have a good day.